Good morning. This is extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer ahead of an increasing likelihood of a tornado outbreak overnight tonight. This is the most dangerous type of tornado outbreak. Looks like a nocturnal event, very fast moving, multiple rounds of supercells moving about 50 plus miles an hour overnight tonight. It looks like that a threat of strong tornadoes is going to extend from eastern Arkansas all the way northeast to central Indiana and all areas in between. Right now I'm targeting southeastern Missouri and I expect supercells could initiate to the south west of St. Louis as early as about 6 to 7 p.m., probably a little bit after that. And then I expect multiple supercells to initiate along prefrontal confluence bands uh, extending further south into north central Arkansas. Another confluence band likely will exist in eastern Arkansas that could fire up another round of fast moving supercells that will move rapidly off to the northeast through southeastern Missouri, central and southern Illinois, and eventually pushing up into central and southern Indiana, maybe even southwestern Ohio by the early morning hours on Saturday. And I do think that the potential is there for dozens of tornadoes overnight tonight. A very large warm sector that covers multiple states is going to be in place. And over top of that, there's going to be a southwesterly low-level jet of about 50 to 70 knots. That's going to produce a 0 to 1 kilometer storm relative velocities in excess of 300 over a very large area. That low-level wind shear is supportive of a strong, violent tornado threat. And with these very fast storm motions, I think that if a tornado does happen, it's likely going to be long track, even, even if it is a relatively brief tornado. Right now, the short-range models are showing an increased likelihood of multiple bands of discrete supercells moving through the target area. The most favorable atmosphere appears to be in southeastern Missouri into southern Illinois, eventually stretching into southern Indiana as well, extending southward into western Kentucky and western Tennessee overnight, all the way down into eastern Arkansas and northwestern Mississippi late night tonight. I think a very large area uh, here uh, could have a strong tornado threat. This is a textbook wintertime storm system, a very powerful full storm system. The kinematics or the wind fields are going to be incredibly strong. The instability is also incredibly ample for this time of year with an abundance of low level instability all the way up to the entire warm sector. So it's very important for you to stay tuned to those watches and those warnings across this large risk area overnight tonight, even into the early morning hours on Saturday. And then I think that a, a lower end tornado threat is going to push off into the southeastern U.S. as that squall line marches eastward.